Good afternoon. Thanks to everyone for attending again today. I want to thank the members of our department and all of law enforcement who played a role in the investigation of this case. Last Wednesday, July 19th, we held a press conference and provided you with the facts of the Carly Russell disappearance. We told you the investigation was ongoing. And we helped you determine where Carly was during the 49 hours of her disappearance. Today, I have talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Carly to meet with investigators early this afternoon, but then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety, which I will do now. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case, and we will announce those charges when and if they are filed. All right, with that, we'll take a few questions. As Officer Hale said, when I call on you, please state your name and your affiliation. Yes, sir. Keith Mims, WAGG 610-100.1 FM Summit Media. Uh, Chief, do we at this time, or does the Hoover Police Department know the whereabouts of Carly Russell during that 49 hour period that she was supposedly missing. Now, as I said the other day, was talking facts and everything. If I said anything today, it would just be speculation. Actual facts, we do not. Aaron Llewellyn, WBC 13. Can you tell us where, or excuse me, what her motivation was for doing this, if you can? I wish I could tell you. I think only uh, Carly knows and maybe her attorney now, but uh, again, the statement that we received from him does not indicate any. Brady G on WBRC, can you give us an idea of what charges you may be filing against her? Uh, that would strictly be up to the district attorney's office. David Lamb, CBS 42, can you uh, update us so that there is a meeting scheduled for this afternoon with the family, or, or no. when is that meeting? For yeah. the no, not uh, a meeting with the attorney, not the family or Carly. We have a meeting scheduled with the attorney, and that will take place some point tomorrow. And there is no meeting with Carly Russell or her family at this point? Not scheduled, no, sir. For you, Chad. Well, again, we want to uh, talk to uh, talk to Mr. Anthony tomorrow and uh, and see if he has any uh, any more to discuss about uh, about the case. Uh, we'll certainly be asking if uh, if we'll get an opportunity to uh, again interview uh, Carly like we've wanted to since uh, since she returned. Chief Stephen Quinn, ABC thirty three forty. Yes, sir. Your reaction now, knowing that Carly has admitted that this was made up. Well, I'm I'm glad that we got this. You know, we uh, we certainly laid the facts out uh, to the to the to the you know to, to you guys and and to the national uh, media that had a lot of interest in this particular case. Uh, uh, the the sad thing is that uh, again there were so many people that uh, that were involved, uh, took this thing very very seriously, and uh, and again we wanted the focus to be bring her home. She got home. We're very excited about that. Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the facts, I think, last uh, Wednesday uh, pretty much showed that uh, we knew that it was, uh, it was a hoax. Lisa. Lisa Crane, WDTM 13. Do you know the expense you went to during this search? And if you don't have a, a dollar figure for us, just the, how big it was for you guys? Well, it was, uh, it was all hands on deck, and, uh, and we don't have a dollar figure yet. But uh, uh, we're, we're certainly working uh, towards getting one, and not only ours, but there'll be uh, there'll be other agencies that uh, that had a lot of a uh, lot of support that they gave us, and had monetary expenses themselves. Right here. Jonathan, uh, John, with JLR investigates, are the parents under in, any investigation? You know, as I said the other day, uh, 
we were going to try to determine exactly those 49 hours. So right now, you know, and anything's on the table. We're, we, we still don't know what happened in those 49 hours, where she was, did she have any help? We have no idea. You know, I read the statement from Mr. Anthony, and that's all we know. Chief, Chief Mims, uh, uh, WAGG 16, uh, Southern Media. Chief, let me ask you this. What do you think prompted or provoked Carly to uh, do this kind of thing? And um, are there any kind of mental issues that uh, the police department or the public should be concerned about or just what? You know, not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, this is a very elaborate, this was an elaborate deal. I mean, when you talk about calling a 911 and, and, and being up on the interstate, uh, uh, again, it would all be conjecture. Uh, so really, uh, I don't know. I was hoping that we'd have an opportunity to interview and we'd be able to ask, ask her those questions. Were any others involved in putting this story together for her? Uh, Mr. Anthony, uh, in his statement, says there was not. Liviana Calme, WPRC, Fox 6 News. Um, you said that you had a meeting scheduled and it kind of switched into a statement. Did they give any type of reason that that switched? No, they did not. Thank you. Uh, Aaron Llewellyn, WBT 13. Um, just for clarification, Carly Russell is not in custody right now. That is correct. That is correct. Last question with David. David Lamb, once again. So, first of all, when did you actually see this letter? And, and second of all, do these admissions and the content of the letter alter the investigation at all? No, not at all. Uh, we'll continue to investigate. We're still trying to determine where those where she was those, during those 49 hours. But uh, I am glad that we received this. It, it at least puts uh, puts some of the social media super sleuths uh, hopefully at rest for a little bit as far as uh, what everyone, the conjecture of what everybody thinks took place. Uh, we know that, uh, that uh, by her own admission it didn't happen, and uh, you know, we're thankful for that. All right, thank you guys very much. The boy Dub Deuce in the building.